Well, Britain, Sarah, today's ruling by Judge William Clark sends a 10 day timeline into motion for the candidates, the city of Bridgeport and the Connecticut Secretary of the State's office to set to come to an agreement to set a new date for that new primary, despite the general election going on as planned next Tuesday. Mayoral candidate John Gomes being greeted by campaign members for the first time since the judge's ruling Wednesday to essentially redo the Bridgeport mayoral primary. Incumbent Mayor Joe Gannon won the mayoral primary in September by 251 votes, but days after the primary, questionable surveillance videos showed what many believed was absentee ballot stuffing at various ballot boxes across the city in the days leading up to the primary. Gomes sued for a new primary, citing evidence of what he calls was a stolen election. Wednesday, Judge William Clark issued a 37 page ruling in favor of Gomes, saying in part, quote, the volume of ballots so mishandled is such that it calls the result of the primary election into serious doubt and leaves the court unable to determine the legitimate result of the primary. The judge saying the drops were made in a way that violates state law. Judge Clark also saying the stamps used by the town clerk's office were not in compliance with the secretary of the state's policy set by state law. Gomes reacting to the judge's decision. And many people said their votes did not matter. And we said, no, it did matter. Right. And we fought it all the way to the court system, yes. to the judicial process, to get that, to tell the people, no, your vote does matter. Judge Clark indicated he does not have the authority to postpone or cancel the upcoming election. So the Gomes campaign is still looking ahead to election day on November 7th. We have faith that our voters, our supporters, the voters of Bridgeport will show up and we will become victorious on November 7th. Connecticut Secretary of the State Stephanie Thomas reacting to the ruling in a statement saying, quote, the court's finding that there was a significant mishandling of ballots should be a great concern to all. Our office will continue to advocate for policies such as drop box surveillance, a Connecticut election court and investment in voter education, all of which will strengthen our election system. We reached out to incumbent Mayor Joe Gannam's uh, campaign for comment on today's ruling, but we did not hear back. Live in Bridgeport, Jake Garcia, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.